In the United States, we have czars. They are appointed by the president. They are not elected by the people. So in a sense, that is a form of dictatorship. They are rulers and don't have to answer to Congress or the American people. In the spirit world, they have the same system. There are spirit czars that are in control of lower spirits. They are a ruling power and are run by Satan. The Bible tells us that czars do indeed exist, but under another name. It is found in Ephesians 6.12. The Apostle Paul said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Those principalities and rulers of darkness have the same powers as czars. I had numerous experiences of spirit czars in action when I was involved in spiritualism. On one occasion, I tried to raise money for the medium. He was doing the seances pro bono. His family lived in poor circumstances. He agreed and suggest I speak to the spirits about charging visitors. That same evening, the controlling spirit, Tsar, was aware of my intentions and told me to mind my own business and wanted to kick me out. I begged him to let me stay. At that time, my whole life was involved around spiritualism. But the deeper I got into spiritualism, the more nervous I became. I was in the highest levels of the occult and it was terrifying. When I became a Christian, I learned the truth about spiritualism. It was quite an eye opener. The spirit world also has its desires running people's lives in the physical world today. At the beginning of this message, I told you about Ephesians 6.12. Paraphrasing what the Apostle Paul said, he told us our fight in this world is not against human beings, but against a spirit world of demon. On one hand, you have Satan. On the other hand, you have Jesus. Our mind is the battleground and only you can make the decision who controls you. Friends, let me suggest something. Before you fall asleep tonight, speak to God. Take a look at your lifestyle. Be honest. Are you satisfied what you're doing? Are you pleasing God? Don't let these demons ask control your life. Perhaps it's time to change. Give your heart to Jesus. Find a Christian church and they will help you find the King of Kings, Jesus.